Scientists have dubbed parthenium the worst weed of the century. It destroys crops, causes harmful skin rashes in people, and scars the intestines of animals that eat it. Also known as famine weed, parthenium made its way from the Americas to Africa, Australia, and Asia beginning in the 1970s. Parthenium produces just thousands of just one plant. If you leave it, then it can produce anything between 15 and 20,000 seeds, just one plant. Dennis Tracy, a member of Virginia Tech's Board of Visitors, joined scientists, farmers, government policymakers, and students for a Virginia Tech-led workshop in Ethiopia. Tracy earned a degree in forestry and wildlife from Virginia Tech and later worked as an environmental attorney. This project is all about an integrated strategy to reduce the presence of parthenium, which is a plant that is invasive to Africa. It does great damage to agricultural fields. It does great damage to biodiversity and it does great damage to you. It causes uh, a very severe damage on human beings and it's invaded uh, agricultural land and also land for crops. Dousing the weed with pesticides and ripping it out by hand has only caused it to spread further. But by teaching farmers to raise and release two biocontrol agents, a leaf-feeding beetle and a stem-boring weevil, in Ethiopia's infested areas, scientists hope to reduce the fast spread of this dangerous weed. Virginia Tech has worked with lots and lots of people to take the lead on this project, to make sure that the programs that are in place are safe, control or somehow reduce the presence of parthenium here in Ethiopia. Thanks to grant funding from USAID, these efforts in four eastern African countries, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, will run through November of 2019. For Outreach and International Affairs, this is Keith Pierce reporting.